What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new project that I'm working on. It's called Debt Race for Youth. And it's basically a racing game inspired by heavy... No. <laughs> Metal... I'll put a picture here. Right, right here. Right there. Sorry bro, you're, you're, you're going to have to edit that in. <laughs> so, it's inspired by that game. Um, so basically... Basically, all I have right now is I have the cars moving, and they can go, s uh, and I have, I can apply a force to the side, which will cause the car to like do, basically do the like smash sideways thing that that most games have. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Okay, so here we are. Let's press play just so I can show you guys what I have currently. Okay, let's maximize this, and then I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I have the car moving. The car moves side to side. It works with that, and it also works with this. I mean, it works with keyboard and also works with controller. And then that is the sideways movement that I was talking about. The like dash. It basically applies a force to the side of the car. As you can see, like the, the wheels like move sideways because the force being applied. It can also be used to drift, which may be handy if you're a really good racer on this. Think easy to like just go into a turn, then just. Obviously, you would have to plan it out better and be a better driver than me. But it could actually be used very good. It could actually be used really well. And I also have a jump, which is going to be fun too. So basically, the jump is basically just like the other ones. But it goes up instead of side. Because the way I do it is I do impulse dot right and then it impulses it dot right. And then for the other side, I do impulse minus dot right. So it impulses to the left. I don't know why this guy's on the floor. I don't know what he did, but he's ended up on the floor somehow. Like, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now and carry on with the rest of the video. I'm really not sure why it's happening. I assume this turn angle, it probably like turned in on itself or something. Hence why it was upside down. But let's just look into the regular car controls, which is this one, new car input. Click on that. So I'm just going to show you this. I don't want to advise it or don't not advise it if you get what I mean. So it's not a recommendation to use, but this is how I did it. Okay, so basically this update wheel thing, it just causes the wheels to spin. And it basically locks the transform of the wheel to the collider. Which if you don't know, in, or in, order, to, in order to get a wheel to actually spin, you need a wheel collider. For it to actually collide with the ground and it like actually add physics to it. And then update single wheel, it just updates like that single wheel. And then you need to do it to all the wheels. So it basically gets the world position of the collider and the rotation. And then it equals the rotation of. And then the wheel transform, which is the wheel, um, gets equal to the rotation of the collider, as I was saying. Then handle motor, I it's just like a really easy doing. It's just rear wheel, then dot motor torque. Context that read float is basically the float is basically just the input of this. So it's either it's either zero or it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way up to one when it's fully pressed in. So that basically allows you to do like a bit of a trigger throttle thing. Because this this won't always be one or zero. Unless you're using the keyboard, obviously. And then here apply braking. Is oh yeah. By the way, I'm using the new input system, which if you guys haven't used, you I really recommend using. It's really easy to set up. Let, let me just show you guys what it looks like. Player input. Then just click here. Basically, this is all you need to do. Is you go here, you go. Hey, okay, so I want to set up a brake. So let's put it to the left trigger. Then I, I assign it to the gamepad, and then you, you don't actually need to assign this because it will switch automatically between them. But I did it just in case I needed it for something. Then the D-pad is like A and D. And be, be careful because sometimes you're going to need to like... There's like certain different settings for certain different things. Get what I mean? Like for, for example, the W and S, I need, I need it to be... I need the negative to be a minus and the plus to be a... Then the plus to be a W. So basically this will cause it to reverse without me having to put a reverse key. 
and use the reverse actual code which I have in here. Okay, so up here we have the reverse speed, which is basically the speed of the player minus one because I want to get because once I want this to be applied, I want it straightly go into reverse. So this, so if you don't know, basically putting a minus in front of a number will make it do the opposite, which is very useful when you're coding. So basically here, it the reverse speed is just minus whatever speed the player is going. And then here I have, I have a thing where basically if context.float is greater than 0.3. So if the player is holding this, it's holding the break, it will actually, it will actually start reversing. And then down here, and then obviously I have, I try to limit, it doesn't work quite yet, but this is where I'm going to try and limit the player's like reverse speed. Because the player shouldn't be able to go as fast in reverse. And then down here I just have the break. So it's current break force which is set the current break force is basically it's it's always gonna be zero unless you're pressing the button and then current break force equals break force which is set in the inspector then here you just apply dot break torque here I, I i was trying to i was trying out different breaks different type of breaks like i was thinking about putting 0 0.5 on the front brakes and then full brakes on the back and i was just trying that out but it didn't work out, so I'd I'd I just do full break and everything. Else, then else if break uh, greater than zero. Oh no, sorry, if break less than zero, break force equals. So basically, here I set back the break force to zero, because otherwise it, it will always be applied and the car won't move. So that's why I did that. Then here is handling steering, and then current steering equals max steering context again it's just getting the x and y from the from the analog dodge right here's where i applied the force to the right or the left of the car but well, for some reason it calls it three times so i'm gonna have to fix that somehow because basically it causes the car to go dzz, 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 instead of just going dzz. so it looks weird i'm gonna have to fix that and then here's a jump and also have a slam basically just allows you slam the car down because i'm gonna have um I'm gonna have health on the other cars, so you're gonna be able to like jump, jump up, then slam down on a car, or you're also gonna be able to use the dodge left, drop a right, and jump for for um basic for for dodging missiles basically, because it's gonna be like whatever the game's called. I've already put it up on the screen somewhere. So basically, yeah. So basically, this is gonna cause you to dodge the the missiles and stuff, unless it's a targeted missile, obviously. Yeah, that's basically it for this code. It's pretty easy once you get the hand the hang of it there's some pretty great tutorials out there so i recommend you guys looking it up if you guys don't actually know what you're doing yet that's basically it for what i did so far it, I've, I've spent like a week working on this so far so i'm think i'm pretty good and, and as you can see i kind of have the ai working not really <laughs> not really i mean he turned up he turned upside down somehow even though he doesn't know how to jump or do anything and and also have like the accelerate constantly calling it which is a mistake. I now realize it was a mistake. Because basically, he can't slow down ever. But yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys did like this video. This like little, little rundown of my code. I'll probably shorten it down like 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, so if you guys did like, subscribe and share. And I'll have an update on this game. Probably in a week or two. Mr. Boy, man, cool. I'm reporting. Out. And I don't know why I'm riding First day life I got